Is this thing on? Good morning, sports fans. Just kidding. So check it out. Today is just a, uh, I don't know if they call it a video blog or a vlog or a web blog or any of that stuff, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? It's all about the message and the communication. So uh, a couple things. I've decided to talk about goal setting. Uh, we all know goal setting, right? It's easy. But one thing I found that works is to set a 20-year goal. Do what you can to fix that and, and hit those goals. Like say, for example, you want to retire in 20 years. It's important to make sure you have enough money when you retire. So what you do is you change today to equal your goal. Say I want to have, um, I don't really know what a number would be. We'll just say $100 for retirement, okay? And you have 20 years, and that's 12 months per year. So basically, what you need to do is save $2 every month so that you can hit your goal of 100. That's two every month. That's 24 and two, 48 and four. And it just goes on and on and on, right? So anyway, long-term goals in the short term, right? Uh, I recommend a long, long one, also a, a 10 year one, a five year one, a one year one, say like I wanna lose five pounds, okay, in one year. All right, first find a lifestyle that you can handle you know, saying, oh, I'm going to run 18 miles today and lose that weight right away, it's probably not going to work. So realistic goals, <clears throat> try to get your minerals and your vitamins in and try to keep your stress low. Meditate, baby. Um, the other thing is the short-term goals. Now, this is the cool thing. Short-term goals can be something like, oh, I'm going to buy a pair of chairs and I'm going to sand them down and I'm gonna paint them, or I'm gonna clean out the garage, or I'm gonna go through my clothes and throw away or donate what I can't use anymore. The reason these short-term goals are just as important as the long-term goals is it helps you get to your long-term goals without having to watch the water boil. You get the point. Sitting there for that long is gonna drive anybody crazy. So set your goal, make your adjustment, and focus on your short-term goals. Now your short-term goals will be something like, I'm gonna watch all of Dexter in two weeks. Okay, whatever. If it gets you to that point without having to obsess and focus on it, I say go for it, okay? Okay. Let's see, any questions? <coughs> Let me check my, my, uh, my email. Oh yes, good. We have a question here from, I'm kidding. I don't have the email. No one texts me. No one sends me questions. <laughs> I just randomly speak. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think it's important to make sure you have all your uh, legal stuff in order. Make sure you have your will, your power of attorney, your advanced directive. Uh, make sure you have six months to one year of cash in your emergency fund. Uh, those are basics. You, you can't go on a trip to Hawaii, Hawaii until you have that stuff done. Uh, let's see here. That's just the basic beginning. Um, hobbies. Um, lately, I've been learning to cook. <clears throat> I, got a, I got a little money for birthday, and I thought, well, what can I do? with this money because it doesn't come up very often so I started looking into cooking because I do enjoy eating food I always thought it'd be kind of cool to walk into a 